This is a guide on replacing an LCD and a touch screen on a Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 14 inch. To begin, turn off the laptop by holding the power slider on the side for 5 seconds and disconnect the power cord. Flip the screen over into a tablet mode and place the laptop down on the keyboard. Using a plastic pick tool, separate the bottom screen cover. Remove four Phillips screws holding the bottom edge of the display assembly. The display assembly is held in place with two strips of double-sided adhesive, and there are two plastic pull tabs that should theoretically allow you to pull the glue out by carefully stringing it along, like stuck on chewing gum from under the table. Unfortunately, this official method almost never works on used devices because the adhesive hardens over time and becomes brittle. Luckily, the adhesive itself is very susceptible to heat, so we will use a heat gun, but you can use a typical hair dryer. Begin warming up the back cover. Make sure that the surface is warm to the touch, but not burning. Insert a plastic pick into the edge and move it up to the top corner of the display assembly to apply some tension on the adhesive and continue heating the back cover. Grab a second plastic pick and insert it into the corner as you continue to separate the top edge. Use the plastic picks as wedges while heating the adhesive. Separate the top edge and keep it wedged with picks. Continue heating the back cover, making sure the heat is being evenly spread. Gently move both picks along the edges to the bottom of the display and separate out the display assembly. The two long and odd shaped strips of adhesive are left on the original LCD. Next, we will remove the top edge hardware, microphones, camera, and light sensors. Using a plastic pick, carefully extract the microphone board, then webcam board, and the connectors board all together as one piece. Gently peel off the flex cable and set the whole garland away from the LCD. Using a plastic pick, lift the clear tape securing the video connector, and using both hands, disconnect the video connector from the LCD. Peel the protective tape from the touchscreen connector and disconnect it. At this point, the new screen can be installed. Place the assembly at the bottom edge and reconnect the touch connector. Secure it with tape. Align the video cable and using both hands plug it into the LCD and secure it with clear tape. Caution! It is very important not to force any of the connectors. As well, you must not twist or slant the connector when plugging it in. Place the auxiliary cable into its channel guides. Stretch the flex cable over the LCD and place the connector board into its spot on the display assembly. Align the securing tape to its respective spot. Replace the webcam assembly, then replace the final microphone board. Secure all tape and flex cables back to the LCD. Stretch the main flex cable taut from the connector board all the way down to the LCD, making sure that the slack of the cable is at the bottom edge. Your new display is likely to come with no adhesive. We offer standard double-sided tape for such repairs on our site. You would need to place the new adhesive on the LCD and make sure to remove any old adhesive from the back cover before reinstalling the new screen. Insert the top edge of the display assembly into the back cover. Clip in the sides and the bottom corners. Place the display into tablet mode and using a super fine microfiber cloth, apply pressure to the display along the edges to catch the adhesive. Replace the four Phillips screws. Replace the bottom plastic cover. Reconnect the power, turn the laptop on, and we're done.